prove that absence of a point P which is equidistant from points with coordinates a 7 comma 1 and b 3 comma 5 is 2 more than its ordinate. So if we'll take the point P as x comma y, if we'll take P x comma y, I need to prove here, I need to prove that abscissa, abscissa is here nothing but x value. To prove abscissa is 2 more than its ordinate. So y plus 2. This I have to prove. So it's a problem is based on equidistance. So clearly given that P A P X comma Y A 7 comma 1. P is x comma y B 3 comma 5. So at equal distance, so P A distance P A distance equals P B distance. Now here distance formula is distance formula under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now if I will substitute the values here for PA under root x2 7 minus see these are the values like x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 now here 7 minus x2 minus x1 if it is a formula x1 is x so 7 minus x whole square plus 1 minus y whole square equals under root here x2 is 3 minus x1 is x whole square plus y2 y2 is 5 minus y1 is y whole square now problem here we have roots so what I'll do squaring on both sides squaring on both sides so under root 7 minus x whole square plus 1 minus y whole square here I'll do squaring on both sides in the same way on the right side 3 minus x whole square plus 5 minus y whole square and again I'll do whole square because we are doing squaring on both sides square root and square root will get cancelled now if I'll simplify this further here now 7 minus x whole square I am left with like 7 minus x whole square plus 1 minus y whole square equals 3 minus x whole square plus 5 minus y whole square so a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab a square plus b square minus 2ab plus here we will substitute 7x 7x 1 minus y whole square so again same thing a square plus b square minus 2ab so you have 1 y 1 y equals 3 minus x whole square so a square plus b square minus 2ab so here a is 3 b is x 3x and one more the last one 5 minus y whole square so a square plus b square minus 2ab 
so here in place of a5 it's 5 and then y 5 y now if you will observe here see clearly x square and x square on the right side y square and y square will get cancelled and the leftover terms if I will write here the terms which are left I will write now so 49 minus 14x 2 times 7 14x plus 1 minus 2y equals 9 minus 6x plus 25 minus 2 5 10 y so what I'll do I'll take all these terms towards LHS I'll take all the terms towards LHS so 49 49 minus 14x plus 1 minus 2y minus 9 plus 6x minus 25 plus 10y equals 0 minus 14x plus 6x minus 14x plus 6x is minus 8x minus 8x minus 2y plus 10y is plus 8y and next 49 plus 1 here 50 49 plus 1 50 50 minus 25 is 25 25 minus 9 is 16 so here you are getting like plus 16 equals 0 so now if we will calculate further here I will do it here so, 8x if I will transpose to the other side, I will get 8x equals 8y plus 16. Uh, you, you can do one thing, I will take here minus 8 com. I will write, I will take all the terms towards right side. So plus 8x minus 8y minus 16 equals 0. 8 if I will take common, x minus y minus 2. 8 if I transpose x minus y minus 2 equals 0 because 0 by 8 is nothing but 0. So x minus y and minus 2 if both the terms if I transpose x equals y plus 2. So clearly abscissa is 2 more than ordinate. So in this way we need to prove x equals y plus 2. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel.